Hey, thanks for coming back. And in today's video, I'd like to talk to you about this. Well, actually what's inside the bag. The first thing is, as you can already tell, you get a nice little carry pouch. And it's a really nice quality pouch. It's not some cheap junk that some manufacturers may use. But this is the product I want to talk to you about. Yes, it's a lapel microphone. And it's from Sennheiser. This is the Sennheiser XS Lavalier Microphone. It does come with a nice little foam windshield. And one of the things that I like about this little foam uh, shield that it comes with, I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up, but there's like a little rubber ring right here on the bottom of the foam and what that does is it actually keeps it on the microphone a lot better so it's not going to slip off accidentally it does come with a lapel clip which is a lot smaller than say the one i'm wearing now and you can actually see how small the microphone really is the cable it is nice and thin and it feels very sturdy and kind of like a rubberized coating, uh, not necessarily that cheap vinyl plastic some items come with. Feels more kind of like a hard silicone almost. And at the end of the microphone is the three and a half millimeter plug. And it's a TRRS type plug. And the way you can tell is it has these three black rings right on the, right on the post here. This has been designed for smartphones and tablets, and yes, even some PCs now, you can plug a TRRS plug into it. So that's what it's designed for. The cable length is two meters or six and a half feet long. It is an omnidirectional microphone. Um, even though this one is a TRRS version, Sennheiser does make a USB Type-C version as well, so you would have to look at it. Or, like if you're ordering it off their website, or like I did off Amazon, you would have to look for that on Amazon. Um, pretty much that's all it comes with. The microphone, the clip, this nice little bag, and the nice little foam windshield. That's it. Um, I would have liked to have seen like a dead cat, you know, the little furry thing that looks like a little hairball. That would have been nice because, I mean, if you're going to use it on your phone or mobile device, whatever, if you want to call it, and you're outside and there's a lot of wind, well, you know, this little foam thing may not protect or eliminate a lot of that wind noise. So a, um, a dead cat would have been nice to throw in there, but hey. For the price, this is a pretty darn good microphone and coming right up or right now, here's the test video. Okay, what you are seeing and hearing is a test of the Sennheiser Lav Mic. It is currently plugged into my Samsung Galaxy S7 and I'm in my car getting ready to go to work. So I figured this might be a pretty decent test. Right now my windows are rolled up and I figured me driving around in a car uh, to give you constant car noise right now to see how good or how bad the microphone is picking up my voice and maybe even rejecting the uh, noise from the car. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to roll down my driver's side window and my rear passenger window. And there goes the driver's window. And right now, there goes the rear passenger window. There is a pretty good breeze coming in uh, to the car right now, and I'm driving at 35 miles an hour. And this is what the microphone is sounding like. So what this test is trying to do is, even in a slight breeze, will the microphone pick up a lot of wind noise? Uh, Will it come through, or is my voice more prominent than the wind noise? Uh, 
So hopefully this is going to be a good test for you. Right now I'm going to roll the windows back up. There's one. There's another window up. So now once again I'm back to driving with all my windows up. No outside noise coming along. <clears throat> and hopefully this was this quick test was uh, a good one for you. Alrighty, so now instead of being inside the car, I am here at work in uh, it's a very big store, very spacious. There is a lot of echo in here, even to the human ear. Uh, so I'm hoping that this microphone will give you an idea of what everything will sound like. Right now, too, what I'm doing is I do have our TV on that constantly shows videos of fireworks. Right there in the background. So what I'm going to do is play an, a video right now of a firework. And it has pretty good explosions in it. And I'm standing probably maybe a good 20 feet away from the TV right now. And I'm just going to slowly walk towards the front of the store as the TV plays in the background to see how good this microphone is picking up my voice in this type of an environment. Is it picking up my voice better than the TV? Or are you just hearing a bunch of blah? All right, I'm pretty much at the front of the store. Hopefully this test, along with the car test, was a good indication for you on how well this microphone works. All right, I hope you enjoyed the test video. Well, actually, technically there was two that I did. But this is the other test video. Right now you are actually listening to the Sennheiser XS Lavalier Microphone. This was the one I used in the beginning of the video. As you can see, it has a much bigger clip, bigger foam shield, and it's just a bigger capsule altogether. Let me uh, take it off, and you can see the size comparison of both microphones. Uh, that previous microphone, by the lavalier microphone, was the Shatori microphone that I reviewed some time ago. If I remember, I'll put the link of that review down in the description below. Now, say, like, if you're going to use, you want to use this lav mic with your camera, like I am now, well, you can't necessarily plug in a TRRS microphone into the camera. You need an adapter. Something like this from Rode, which is a female on one end, and if you notice, there's only two black lines on it on the other end. This, these two adapters I'm about to show you are a TRRS to TRS adapter. And the second product I'd like to review for you right now in today's video is this. This is another TRRS to TRS adapter. And it's from a company, and I really do wish I say this correctly, Duckabell, D-U-K-A-B-E-L. And as you can tell, there's only two black lines on the post right there. You just simply plug this lav mic into here, and you plug this end into your camera, and that's it, and away you go. And of course, well, how can I test this product? When I'm talking to you, well, I have another adapter put into the camera right now. So let me pause the video. I'm going to plug this into the camera so you can hear what the Ducabell or Ducabell adapter sounds like. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. And the Ducabell or Ducabell, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, adapter is now plugged into the camera and the Sennheiser lav mic is plugged into that. What I was using was this adapter that I had from Pop Voice. Comes with one of their microphones too and and that's what I was using uh, before I plugged this one in. But as you can tell this Sennheiser microphone 
from the test videos and even now from me just talking to you this way, um, I got one of my windows open and I bet you a lot of that outside noise and the cars and everything really isn't coming through very well. And this microphone seems to have cut down a lot of my breathing noises, you know, like when I'm done talking and I go, <gasps> it, it seems to quiet those down a little bit. I also love the tonality of this microphone. It, to me, it sounds more natural, like what my real voice sounds like. So I really enjoy this microphone and this is going to be now my main microphone to use for the rest of my videos unless I come across something uh, a lot better. And one last side note about this microphone. I'd like to give a little thanks or big thanks to Dave from Geekanoids. He reviewed this lav mic some time ago and I seen it on his channel and I'm a subscriber and, a, and I love watching him. Uh, do reviews. As a matter of fact, he's the one who inspired me to start my own channel. But Dave from Geekanoids, he reviewed this mic and I was like, ooh, sounds pretty nice. Um, and then when I seen the price, I was like, oh my god, that's actually a really nice price for this lav mic. I'm gonna get it in and see what it's like. I love this mic. Um, yes, it's a little pricey for some people. It's not as cheap, like, you know, 20 or 30 bucks. It's uh, like around the $50 mark. But to me, it's worth every penny. And what I highly recommend to any of you on YouTube, or you don't even have to be a content creator to enjoy this microphone. If, you you know, Zoom calls, whether you're doing school, still doing the video conferencing thing, you know, for schooling or for your business or whatever it's a great microphone to have to me it sounds really natural sounding or true to life it doesn't add any bass it doesn't add any high end or any of that stuff it's to me it's a really natural sounding microphone and i think that's very important so yes i would highly recommend you get this not just as a youtube creator but if you're going to be doing zoom calls live streaming your games and you don't want to wear a headset you can use this uh, like I said, if you're doing business phone calls or work from home or school from home or contacting your doctor still because of this C19 stuff going on, this microphone is fantastic. It's small. It's discreet. It's not something sticking right there inside of your face and you can see. Even though I bet right now you're probably watching this video going, I wish he had a big microphone hiding his big ugly face. But... Too bad I don't. Ha! Okay, if you happen to like this video, please give it that thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget about the notification bell. It would really help me out a lot if you were to share this video and maybe some of my others on all of your social media sites. And until the next video, you, your friends, your family, and yes, even your pets. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.